kids, how are you? I hope you are safe and healthy. I am Teacher Rochelle. Let me teach you a lesson while you enjoy because learning should be fun. Let's start! Organizing data in tabular form and presenting them in a line graph. Let us try this. Study the graph on the right. What kind of graph is it? Yes, it's a bar graph. What is the title of the bar graph? The height of the children in the neighborhood. What are the two factors that are compared. The children and their height. How many children are there in the neighborhood? One, two, three, four, five, five. Among the five, who is the tallest? Yes, it's James. Who is the shortest? Martha. Why do you think Martha is the shortest? Maybe because she is the only girl among the children. Let us discuss this. Now, look at the table on the left. Let us present the data in a line graph. Remember, a line graph is a graph that uses lines to join points which represent a data set. Let us make a graph for the two factors, month and score. Which point represents the score for June. Excellent! Miguel's score in June is 27. Which point represents the score for July? Very good! His score in July is 26. Which point represents the score for August? Way to go! In August, he has 30. Which point represents the score for September? That's right! Miguel's score in September is 25. Which point represents the score 
4. October Wow! You made it! For October, he got 29. Now, let us connect the points in order. What kind of graph is it? Line graph. What is the title of the line graph? Miguel score in 30 item tests in 5 months. What are the two factors that are compared? The scores and the months. How many months are there? One, two, three, four, five, five. In which month did Miguel get the highest score? In August. What is his lowest score? Let us answer this. It is a graph that uses lines to join points which represent a data set. Using the temperature readings in the box, which table below shows the correct organized data. Which graph below correctly represents the data in the box? Which table below satisfies the line graph in the box? Wow! Did you learn how to organize the data in a table and in a line graph? Good! See you in our next lessons! Stay safe!